Okay, so this piece goes around the emergency brake handle. Let's see, and if this don't work, it'll just wash right off. Well, let me get my chalk out and try that. Okay, so the chalk is looking promising. Has anybody tried to buy regular regular white chalk? The only thing I could find was this multicolored sidewalk chalk. So anyhow, uh, this is looking good. Now this part, there's an identical part, but it's missing this piece here. Sorry, the wind's kicking up. So I'm gonna... Uh, that's looking pretty good, but I need to draw in this missing part right here. Yeah, technically, I need to make two of these. I'm going to practice on the first one by using chalk. My other option is just to get a regular Sharpie marker and see how that works. I might try that on the second one. I'm going to remark my holes and we will come back and make the holes. It cut out pretty good. see about putting holes in it now okay so I'm going to use this part of the table it's right over one of the legs uh, don't shoot me for my choice of tools this was in the uh, discount bin at the one of the parts stores and I grabbed it because I didn't have a hole punch set so, pick the middle of the road here and see where that sends us. And go down one size. That looks like that'll work. I'm not sure how accurate these will need to be, but if it works, it works, right? This will stretch a little bit, so, and then them plastic push pins hold it in. Probably could use a little bit stronger base. But we're getting it done.
One more. Got the wood. Well, cheap tools work though. There's one. These go around the bottom of the front fenders on the inside. So, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and make these other ones and I'll bring you back. These are the rear mud flaps, and uh, I'm, I'm guessing, because of the way it looks, this part here has to be split to be able to go in. And then they just had one tie wrap here holding this piece on. So I just added some extra support, and I'm going to put three tie wraps on it. Um, this one, the only problem with it was it had a tear right here. I uh, put some plastic weld on it, and I'm thinking I'm just going to maybe JB weld a metal washer on there just to give it a little bit more support. But overall, uh, Armor All cleaned them up real good. And these look really good. I'm just going to I'm going to reuse these. This is a thicker rubber, so uh, yeah. If, if I was had to replace these, I'd probably just order new ones instead of trying to make them. But uh, these come out pretty good. Just a, just a little bit of work to do on those. Alright, so I'm just going to reinforce this little area with a piece of that new rubber. And instead of JB or anything, we're just going to use regular rubber cement. Could be a little tricky. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of tricky. Probably too much glue. That's all right. All right, I'll let that dry and should work. All right, so here we have it. These are the old uh, bottom front fender mud flaps. These are the new and the emergency brake lever really wasn't in bad shape but I went ahead and made a made a new one so uh, so yeah uh, we'll get this one put on today but uh, yeah they turned out good I got some leftover rubber in case I need it but that was the main reason that top one and this one so, yeah all right thanks for watching